Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my GTA 5 Emergency Series Let's Play. Um, I got asked why I'm not calling this baby LSPDFR since it's mostly LSPDFR. Well, simply because, I don't know, I started this as GTA 4 Emergency Series and Emergency Services Series and I want to continue like that. So, that should be reason enough. And today, um, even though this is not the perfect um, the perfect vehicle by any stretch of the imagination, but I think it's the best one that you can, or well, it's, it's better than an SUV, um, we are going to do some uh, commercial vehicle enforcement. Means that all of those guys here is what we are going to focus today on. And actually... This gentleman here seems to be a little bit in a hurry, so... We're gonna follow him and uh, we'll see. Uh, I will not play inside perspective because as you can see this is really not made to be played first person. Um, oh yeah, he's a little bit fast there. And now he's going over a red. Nice. Buddy, it's a little too little too late. Oi, oi, oi. A little bit with care. Maybe. Alright. Don't want to hit him just yet. <laughs> so let's see. What do we have here? No license plate on this thing. To begin with. Tires look good. Hello there. Well, sir. Wow. I would like to see your commercial driver's license and your medical. Because, quite frankly, I don't know if you should still be driving the way you are driving here through the city. Plus, where's your license plate on the back? And yes, guys, before you want to tell me, oh, it's not on the model. It's called roleplay. You got a license plate on the front, I guess that's something. Um, I also would like to see your logbook, uh, s commercial vehicle inspection report. Um, yeah, that should be it for, for starters. Is there any reason why you didn't obey that uh, traffic control device back there? Because that was deep red. Oh, no, 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 you are not going to run away from me, are you? Can't be. Sorry, dude. Hey, 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 hey. God help oh. us. Idiot. Okay, hands up. What the heck, man? See, people like you is the reason that commercial vehicle enforcement has to have weapons. That's why we have sidearms. You are under arrest. God damn it. Come on, bud. Can you go any slow? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you really shouldn't be on the road. Holy cow. Let's go. Unbelievable. You know, I tried to be nice and all, but no. Someday, I feel like I'm living in paradise. You know what I'm saying? 
That's a good song. What gives, asshole? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. How is this possible? You already are in deep trouble. Go on, get in there. Get in there. Out, out of my vehicle. Honestly, unbelievable. How many more times do we have to go through this? Alright, well... Another traffic stop ends in an arrest. This is really not our mandate to do commercial vehicle enforcement, but I mean... He was just asking for it. So I will be back with you guys as soon as I got rid of the gentleman there at the station. And, uh, yeah. We'll see what the rest of the day brings. Unbelievable. So, next we're gonna check out here this bus ahead of us, the Dash Hound. Because this as well is a commercial vehicle. And uh, while he has a little bit of different uh, hours of service, he has uh, certain rules and regulations that he has to adhere to, especially because he is a carrier that transports people. Just wait for him to pull over. Ow. That's not the ideal way to pull over, I guess, but okay. Let's quickly check his plate. Got no flags. That's good. That's a start. <sighs> Let's see if he's gonna try to fight us too. Tires. Lights are working. Or at least they look like they are in working condition. Morning, commercial vehicle enforcement. Uh, I would like to see your driver's license, your uh, medical commercial vehicle inspection report. Um, in your case, also your safety fitness certificate. Hi. And your logbook. Would you mind submitting to a breath alcohol test? All right, so the gentleman was unfortunately way over his time, so I put him out of service. And uh, get his vehicle towed now. His owner or the owner of this bus will get uh, informed by uh, by our department. He can get the bus back. Um, yeah, his driver can go back to driving once he had a good night's rest. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a hefty fine for him for the driver as well as for the owner um, 
and it's gonna be some demerits for the driver and uh, it's gonna be points on the safety certificate of that uh, owner of the bus so all in all this is why we are out here and doing this enforcement now we're just gonna get them told all right so tow truck is on its way and with that pretty much we are done here we're just waiting for the tow truck and then we're out of here oh this is precious this is too precious cute well, I guess it really isn't meant to um, <laughs> to be used for that. So we just uh, say that's good and continue on with our day. Let's see what this truck driver has to say. Because clearly his load is not secured properly. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a... Uh... Come on, dude. Really? Alright then. Now, let's just work with that. See the problem with this vehicle, the reason I pulled him over is uh, if he had the net that he's supposed to have by law on top of his uh, load, um, he wouldn't lose trash all over the city. So that is a $200 fine. Um, yeah, it goes against his or his the owner of the truck's uh, safety certificate. Hello, sir. Commercial vehicle enforcement. Any idea why I pulled you over? Hi. Yeah, your load uh, securement uh, doesn't seem sufficient. You are losing trash all over the place. We've been following you for a while. Um, I need to see your logbook, uh, commercial vehicle enforcement, uh, commercial vehicle inspection report, your TDG, Wimmers, and. Uh, also, your logbook, uh, pre-trips, inspection reports, please. And thank you. Alright, so... Uh, your papers look good so far. Uh, registration and proof of insurance, please. And your driver's license. Okay, so your medical is up. Uh, which means your license is invalid. You are driving at the moment this vehicle without a license. Um, get that renewed. Uh, this will be a separate fine, but uh, you will get a $200 fine for um, for um, insufficient load securement. <clears throat> Everything else looks good so far. Um, your carrier will be notified about the infraction. Uh, you will get two demerits on your profile. A carrier will get uh, two points against the safety certificate. And uh, yeah, you can continue to the next uh, possible place where you can unload or transfer the load on a vehicle that will have the appropriate net attached. So. $200 are to be paid right here. Alrighty, sir. Have a nice day. Ah, oh, my poor vehicle. Well then.
Yeah, thanks for letting me pull out there. We're gonna follow him for a moment and see if he adheres to everything that he has to adhere to. And of course while you're behind the vehicle you want to make sure if you see any obvious defects like for example we've seen that one uh, this dump truck um okay well you want to make sure that the mud flaps are on there and that brake lights are working, turn signals are working when he turns. Um, from here we can already see that by the looks of it his exhaust is uh, firmly attached. Sometimes you have vehicles where you just look at them and the exhaust will fall off. Um, of course that smoking there is a little bit of a concern, um, but it is an older truck, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Um, older trucks tend to have a little bit more problems with uh, diesel particulates. Um, they don't have uh, DEF and or particular filters installed yet. Um, it was just started recently. Um, of course, Another thing that you want to make sure while you are behind him is uh, that he has all the tags on his... Uh Why didn't you signal your lane change? Well, I wanted to pull this other truck over, but I'm thinking this gentleman here is going to be our customer. And of course you want to make sure when you pull vehicles over you want to uh, make darn sure that uh, it's in an opportune spot meaning it's not uh, on a hill or uh, well here would kind of work it's not too much of a turn there behind us but you don't want to pull them over in turn you just wait until it's pretty much uh, a straight part of road. Okay. Yeah, he has some issues there. Okay, this was definitely red now. This... And he's seen me behind him, so... We'll see what his story is. And as you approach the truck too, I mean, you want to make sure that no, everything that's, uh, we always have a saying that we really use, well, we use that when, for, for pre-inspection, uh, pre-trip inspections, and that's, uh, at the bare minimum, you want to make sure that everything that's supposed to light up, lights up, and everything that's black and round is black and round. So you want to make sure that you don't have flat tires, uh, that the profile depth is given uh, on a on a level two inspect, or actually on a level uh, three inspection, you would even go so far as to go underneath the truck and then check uh, check for uh, loose brake lines. Uh, you can do that also when we approach the truck here. We want to make sure that we don't hear any air hissing. And uh, yeah. Morning, ma'am. Uh, commercial vehicle enforcement here. Uh, I got a question. That light back there, uh, you didn't think that was important to obey, eh? That was deep red when you went over it. The ones before the three were all, well, amber, but this last one, absolutely not. So, uh, having said that, I would like to see your driver's license, proof of insurance, registration, commercial vehicle, inspection report, um, your logbook, uh, bill of lading, K2 
Okay, so it says here on your bill of lading that you have uh, 2.5 tons of lighter fluid. Uh, that is definitely dangerous goods. How come you don't have any placards on your vehicle? So that of course is then, and you are fully aware of that, a uh, violation of Transport Dangerous Goods Act. Um, in that case, uh, your drive here is over. Uh, I have to ask you to step out of the vehicle. Um, unless you can produce uh, placards right now. Which I don't think is the case. So in that case, um, I ask you to step out of the vehicle. Hi. Thank you. Um, yeah, you can uh, let your your carrier know that he can uh, pick his truck up from the impound. So yeah, guys. Of course, she had uh, lighter fluid on her truck. Uh, this, of course, in that amount, 2.5 tons. Um, that needs to be placarded. This truck should have flammable class 3 placards on um, as you can see there are no placards whatsoever she was not able to produce a dangerous goods certificate which she needs to transport that and uh, she couldn't produce uh, well the placards so her drive is over at this point we're gonna tow this truck in um, the carrier has the opportunity here to come to the impound lot and uh, unload the load into uh, or unload the, the product into a appropriate vehicle with placards and with a driver with dangerous goods uh, obviously that's going to be fine for the driver it's going to be on the carrier profile for the carrier and uh, yeah this is what we do on daily basis so I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, little excerpt into the world of the commercial vehicle enforcement and uh, yeah I guess we're gonna call this one in so yeah while we are waiting here for the tow truck uh, I'm gonna use the opportunity to say thank you so much uh, for joining me here and uh, yeah it's maybe not as interesting or as exciting as uh, the quote-unquote normal police work, but it's definitely an interesting job. Um, it is an important job. Commercial vehicles, while they don't make the majority of traffic, uh, you definitely want to make sure that they are safe for traffic because uh, of their size and of their weight. Um, they pose a completely different threat than your normal um, run-of-the-mill station wagon. So with that I say thank you so much for joining me, thank you for watching and uh, yeah, until next time. The tow truck might be arriving here soon. Oh yeah, there he comes. Whoa. He's in a hurry. Alright, so there he goes. He lost his load. Well... I will take care of that and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and God bless.